My presentation title is Active Manufacturing of Specially Configurable Head Structured Material. My presentation is divided into four parts. First part is research background, then followed by active manufacturing layer-wise head structure material. The graphic abstract is uh, given here, and then the third part is active manufacturing configurable work size head structure materials, and then summary. So first, uh, research background. Uh, we all know the strength ductility trade-off is a long-standing challenge in mechanical material. There are several approaches to solving uh, this uh, problem. As a result, it's uh, not so good. First, uh, the addition of high amount of carbon, normally with carbon content higher than 0.58%. This will lead to the degradation in weightability and also the workability. The second approach could be the addition of expensive do doping elements such as nickel, cobalt, chromium, etc. This will lead to high cost and therefore limiting the large-scale industry application. There are also several new approaches for high-strength ductility signals, such as increasing the ductility of material while involving deformation twinning. The typical material for this product is high entropy alloy. For this material, although it can achieve very high uh, elongation, but the air strength is normally below one gigapascal, as shown in this figure. So the other approach could be engineered heterogeneous structures or head structured multi uh, multi materials. But uh, uh, for this uh, approach, it's hard to control the heterogeneous structures, and also there will be anisotropy along different uh, directions. Uh, so current uh, state of art in active manufacturing mechanical head structural materials uh, contains of uh, these categories such as uh, AM of uh, such AM of uh, materials B on materials A directly or uh, AM of materials A on materials B with the uh, internal materials C for the enhancement of uh, internal bonding and also AM of materials A on materials B with the uh, uh, variation of uh, materials compensation by weight percentage So the limitation of current uh, HMs by active manufacturing and the conventional methods. Uh, first of all, for conventional methods such as rolling, are hard to control the volume fraction and the distribution of heterogeneous structures. And also for current AM of linear format, HM is unable to fully inherent the merits of uh, constitutive materials. For instance, if the loading is applied on this direction, the fracture will uh, happen on the weaker material, so it cannot take full use of the stronger material. This is a typical anisotropical me mechanical property in the linear format heterogeneous material. Uh, in this case, we want to carry out uh, uh, research work to fully leverage the unique flexibility of uh, AM in design and the manufacturing. We want to process the configurable complex head structures in multi-materials to consolidate all the advantages of the of each constituent material and then to improve the uh, strength artery synergy and the enhanced uh, functionalities. So the second part is uh, laser active manufacturing of uh, layer-wise head structure material. Uh, this work has been published on by series research letters. So if you are interested in this work, uh, please access this paper for more details. So how we did this work? Uh, first, uh, we choose uh, two types of uh, high strength steel. One is a uh, managed steel MS. The other one is a uh, stainless steel SS. So we designed two pattern. The first one is uh, we change two materials every one layer, and the second uh, pattern is we change the two materials every two layers, and uh, repeatedly we go to the box sample. So the optical morphology demonstrate the layer-wise features of the sample, which follow the design pattern. For the darker region is MS, for the brighter region is S, because the 
MS has a poor corrosion resistance than this is. So the max structure analysis. So from the EDS mapping, uh, we can find the MS is rich in nickel while the SS is rich in chromium. Uh, besides, we can find the high nickel feature with is a typical circular flow during the laser processing. This is a typical Marganian convection caused by surface tension and the temperature gradient. Uh, to be specifically, the temperature gradient uh, we are called surface tension from the center of the metal pool to the boundary. By the gravity, we are uh, make the liquid flow down to the bottom of the metal pool. Therefore, it forms the circular flaws in the metal pool, which uh, makes the bottom material come into the top material from the intermixing structure. So uh, for the high magnification observation on the interface suggests uh, the interlock structure in the layer interface, which is beneficial to the interfacial bonding. Besides the uh, micro segregation of silicon and ammonia along the kilometer boundary is also observed. So the mechanical properties. Uh, firstly, we have done the uh, hardness mapping across the interface. So we can find a high hardness region and a low hardness region. Uh, because the MS has a lower hardness of about 400 HV, while the SS has a higher hardness of about 490 HV. So there we are found hard zoom and soft zoom in this material. We also carry out a tensor test to, add, to evaluate the mechanical property of this material. So the uh, UTS suggests, suggests uh, this uh, HN material has a higher strength than the constitutive uh, manual steel MS. And also the uh, HN material has a higher elongation compared with the heat treated MS which means this HA material can fit in the uh, property blank of this uh, constitutive MS material. Uh, besides, we also carry out uh, loading, unloading and reloading test, tensor test to investigate, investigate the, the Brinchka effect to understand the heat structure deformation induced strengthening effect in this material. Uh, the calculated results su suggest the uh, HN material has a lot, has, has a higher HDI effect than the uniform material, which suggests this is a, a primary strengthening effect in this material. So what's the HDI strengthening comes from? So first, during the deformation, the soft material will undergo large uh, deformation first, which will generate a lot of dislocation and pop up as a interface and is a boundary. Uh, however, when however the hard zoom we are give a back stress to the soft zoom, which we are make the soft zoom become stronger and therefore enhance the global air strength of the material. So the deformation behavior was in situ monitored by the digital image corre correlation. So during the Tensor test, we can find there's a lot of uh, deformation bands in this material, which is uh, unlike uh, uniform material. Uh, this uh, multiple deformation band could uh, delay the leaking and improve the ductility. So we also investigated the fracture mechanism in this head structure material. So first, uh, the, the crack could uh, initiate the uh, in the SS region due to the lower uh, strength in this material. And then the crack with the expanding cross MS and uh, jump the uh, interface. Interestingly, we can find when the crack, uh, when the crack goes into the other material, the direction could be changed a little bit due to the boundary. So the second part is the uh, active manufacturing of uh, configurable oxidized head structure material. Uh, this work has been published on the flagship journal of manufacturing domain. 
So how did this work? Uh, we still choose these two powders as the raw material. So first we deposit uh, uh, the MS on the substrate with a large scab. Uh, this scab is called hatch spacing. And then we deposit the second material, SS, to fill in, to fill up the gap. And uh, uh, then we go to the first layer after these two steps. And for the second layer, we, we rotate it 90 degree and follow step one, step two to form the second layer. And repeatedly, we go to the bug sample after many layers. So in order to investigate the the effect of one fraction on the mechanical property. We designed the four hatch spacing uh, with uh, 1.35 to 2 mm. So the spatial 3D spatial 3D on morphology of this material are shown here. So we can find uh, from the top and the side view, we can find the chick rate pattern with pre audical MS and S melt pools. And from the top view, we can find the iron of two materials separated by each other. And uh, with the increasing of hatch spacing, uh, the layer thickness becomes, uh, becomes smaller. The density of this material was characterized by micro CT, and the results suggest all the sample achieve the relative density higher than 99.5%. So the element distribution also suggests the chromium rich in SS and the nickel rich in nickel rich in MS regions, uh, which together form the internal structures in the material. The composition analysis also demonstrates the dilution regions in this uh, material. So the mechanical property and deformation behavior, firstly, we carry out a tensor test of this material with different hatch spacing. And the results demonstrate the H hatch spacing of 1.5 has a best mechanical property than other hatch spacing. And the heat-treated heat structure material achieved a yield strength of about 1.5 Pascal, along with a reasonable uh, good elongation of 8.1%, showing a good strength starting the combination. So the HM material is also compared with the constitutive material. When it compared with the SS, it shows much higher yield strength, increased about 550 uh, megapascal. And, for, and when compared with the uh, MS, the, although the yield strength uh, a little bit lower than uh, MS, but the elongation increased more than 40% than the MS. So this material uh, inherent uh, the good ductility from SS and also inherent uh, the good uh, high strength from the MS, which suggests it consolidated the merits for, from the constitutive materials. Uh, the digital image correlation was also carried out to observe the deformation process. We can find a lot of uh, non-uniform stream localized in the SS regions. Uh, this uh, multiple deformation band could delay the leaking and improve the ductility. We know for uniform materials such as uh, memory steel, normally there will be only one deformation band, and this band will spread across the sample quickly and cause the fracture. But for the head structure material, the deformation be behavior is quite different. So uh, the tensor test has demonstrated that uh, high spacing has a significant uh, influence on the mechanical property. So the root reason could be that the high space affects overlap and the intermixing behavior between two materials. So for small hatch space, they will cause excessive overlap. For this region, the mechanical property will be no longer the, the same as the constitute MS or SS or MS. And the crack could have, uh, the crack was uh, initiated in this uh, in these regions and caused the uh, fracture quickly. 
The second reason is uh, for small hydrogen space, they will cause uh, a large, uh, large layer thickness. And the, inc and the increasing of layer thickness will reduce the strengthening effect in construction material as plotted in this uh, curve. And for large hydrogen space, so the bond, interfacial bonding is weak, and the crack could be initiated in these regions, in the bonding regions, and, and the spanning across the layer interface. And besides, for uh, large edge, the inter transition of stream is sharp during the loading, which is also uh, which is not beneficial to the in the to the high strengths. So the change the mechanical property of uh, this construct material in our work is compared with uh, the constitutive mesh steel and also a wide range of laminar and functional gradient materials. So firstly, as compared with uh, the constitutive MS, we can find it uh, uh, has a much higher strength than the spilled condition and has a much higher integration than the heat treated condition. When compared with the linear format, laminar or functional gradient materials, it has a yield strength of 1.5 gigapascal, much higher than the laminar and the functional gradient materials. For because the linear format materials are generally has a lower yield strength below 1.1 gigapascal. Which demonstrate that uh, the voxelized hexstructure material has a uh, superior properties. Besides, uh, the anisotropy in mechanical property could be also reduced in this hexstructure material because the uh, uh, structure along different direction is uh, more uniform. So the strength mechanism could be a uh, rule of mixture and the hexstructure deformation induced strengthening. Uh, we use the micropillow compression to calculate the strength of each component and then calculate the results to predict the rough mixture by in serial So summary, uh, this work process a specially configurable mechanical and structural materials and laser item manufacturing, which aims to consolidate more from three materials into one part to achieve high strength statistic synergy. The voxelized HM achieved the higher tensor strength of 1.6 gigapascal along with the integration of 8.1%, showing a good strength statistic combination than the constituent materials, and also a better mechanical property than the Layer-wise, construction materials. The key mechanisms for improvement of strength stability could be uh, HDIS strengthening effect and also roof mixture. So the multiband deformation delayed the leaking and therefore improving ductility in the material. Uh, the Voxnaz HM has more boundaries than laminar material, leading to a much higher HDIS effect. So this work could inspire R&D on item manufacturers, especially in structural materials with configurable architectures for attaining superior performance and also for some lower functionalities. Thank you for your attention.